Our next step is going to be making the evolutions work. So we're going to start in Bulbasaur. Make sure you click on Bulbasaur again. And we're going to go to events and drag out when green flag clicks. After when green flag clicks, we're going to be using something called a variable to keep track of our level. So let's go ahead and go to the variables tab. So if you don't know what a variable is, a variable is something that can store a value such as a number, and we can change the number inside of our program. So this works really well for things like our level or our score, where it will change constantly throughout our program. So to make a new variable, we're going to click on this button up here at the top that says make a variable. We're going to go ahead and call it level and make sure for all sprites is selected down here. Now we should see our variable on our screen. So over here in the top right corner, you can see level. After that, we're going to drag set level and we're just gonna start a Pokemon off at level one. So we're going to set the level to one. After that, because Bulbasaur is going to be the first Pokemon that shows, we're going to just go ahead and drag out a show block. Next, we're going to go ahead and add a forever loop below that. And we're going to be forever checking if uh, the level is equal to 16. And when it reaches 16, um, we're going to hide Bulbasaur. So we're going to go ahead and go to operators and we're going to actually use the greater than symbol. And then we're going to go to variables and put level into the first circle. So we're going to be checking if the level is greater than, we're going to be checking if it's greater than 15. That means that when Bulbasaur reaches 16, because 16 is the first number bigger than 15, Bulbasaur will hide. So we're going to go ahead and go to looks and just hide Bulbasaur. Okay. After we finish the Bulbasaur code here, we're going to go ahead and go to Ivysaur. In Ivysaur, we're going to start with one green flag clicked, and we're going to follow a similar formula. Uh, but instead of showing for our first block, we're going to hide. We don't want Ivysaur to be showing first because uh, he starts off as Bulbasaur. After the hide, we're going to go to Control and add a forever loop. And then we're going to add something called an if then else. If then else. After that, we're going to go ahead and drag out an or block. So go to operators, drag out or. And then we're going to drag out a less than and then a greater than. So less than for the first diamond and then greater than for the second diamond of ore. After that, we're going to go to love variables and add level into each of the first circles of each of the less than and greater than. And then for the numbers, we're going to be checking if the level is less than 16 or the level is greater than 32. And that means that we don't want Ivysaur to be shown. So we'll go to looks and we will drag out a hide block. Okay. So our Pokemon is only Ivysaur if it's between levels 16 to 32. So if it's less than 16 or greater than 32, he's either Bulbasaur or Venusaur, and we don't want him showing. After that, we're going to add a show block below the else. Okay, and now our Ivysaur should be working. Our last step is to add this code into Venusaur. So go ahead and drag and drop. And we're going to modify just a little bit. 
we're going to go ahead and take off the or and we're going to add this just leave it the level less than 16 and we're going to change it to level less than 32. Okay. And that's all we need to do now when we press play only bulbasaur should appear okay so you notice when we touch the red candies nothing happens that is our next step.